guys, this is Constantine, the thrifty backpacker, and today I'm checking in Old Bangkok Hostel. Oh, oh, all right, okay. Well, the bonus of this hostel is that, well, you can have some drinks here, and not only drinks, they sell pretty much different types of weed. As soon as you enter, you have different types of stuff that you can buy and uh, different types of weed and also some things that you can drink the area where you chill and a lot of backpack uh, a lot of ventilators so it's pretty chill here and the atmosphere is pretty nice although there isn't a receptionist so I gotta wait a little bit as far as we can see there are board games which is a bonus, although I haven't seen any people playing yet. And there is a menu and different types of stuff that you can purchase. Okay, so the fifth floor, no elevators, but we can do that, we can do that. So I am inside the room and it feels like I'm somewhere on a spaceship. <laughs> well, actually there is some light here and with lights it's not that futuristic anymore, but still pretty nice. There are some old lockers which actually work, but you need to have your own padlock. Might not be super reliable, but it is what it is. Choose any bunk bed and I decided to choose this part because it's farther from the door and I won't be disturbed by other people. So in order to walk up, yeah, I couldn't choose the bottom bed because it's busy. So I climb up here. This AC, AC is not working and that's why it's very hot. But there must be another AC inside of this pod. Let's check it out. Oh! So let's take a look. So basically, this is where you insert your card. Okay, so it's there, and I can just close it. Boom. And I think I can choose the temperature. So there are two USB ports for charging. I don't think I can charge all my devices using USB part because, well, not all of them have that, but it's still good. So you can shut down the light like this, turn it on, and also choose different types of light. It could be purple, it could be blue, it could be green, it could be blue, it could be nothing. It just depends what your mood is. I like purple. It's a lovely color purple. There's also ventilation that you can settle for yourself and I don't feel like there's any kind of like temperature control 37 degrees could you believe that wow it's crazy I'm gonna just lose a lot of sweat here so use some more lights okay and I can shut it down so it doesn't seem that I can control the AC inside of the pod like really, I can't control that. So I should ask whether there is a way to turn on the AC here because so far it's not working and it's super hot. Look, I'm already sweating. I hope I will survive one night in this hostel. Oh, there are only four people here in the room, but there are so many lockers. It would be definitely better if we had bigger lockers here. But I was able to squeeze my small backpack in there, so it's good. Funny, like the receptionist said, oh, you must have the remote, but I'm like, there is no remote. He's like, you should have a remote. I'm like, there is no remote. And then he went to the reception to get us a remote for the AC. In order to get to the bathroom, we need to go to the fourth floor. And this is where I'm going right now. So let's say I woke up at night and I'm going to the bathroom. Bathroom, where is the bathroom? This is the private room that I initially wanted to get for myself, but I decided to choose this crazy pod. This is where you chill and talk to people. And bathroom! No, there is no bathroom. 
All right, let's go one floor down. Here, and here it is, here it is. Okay, well, it's pretty clean. Much better than I thought it would be. Sinks, soap, even a hair dryer. Some urinals. And there's a shower, and everything looks pretty nice, I like that. And only one cabin? Like, really? Only one cabin? Well, at least they have a bidet here. There is a fan here, and as soon as you exit the shower, you can look at the street and enjoy the view. So good. After this room, and I still have a sweaty short. Where you do the laundry, just opposite the bathroom. So you just throw in some coins, and I think it should be like... Oh my god, is it 50? Alright, so I guess it's 50 or 30. Yeah, so I think for this type it's 50, and for this type of machine it's 30. Batman! Star Wars! Thing for ironing is pretty cool. I mean, I hope it's working. Uh, one of the private rooms looks like just the bed and the window, but you have more private space. Walter White. And on top of him, Gandhi. Interesting decision. Fire extinguishers are everywhere, so I feel safe. There's a luggage room where people leave their stuff. Or just a storage. No, I think it's just a storage room. At the reception is so chill, so good, so comfortable. Although the reception is this desperately looking for a remote for our room, so it's gonna be as cold as it's here. Some kind of uh, kitchen area where you can wash the dishes, uh, store your stuff in the fridge. I'm not gonna steal. Kinder surprise. And uh, there is another bathroom here. And this is where the receptionist is. So this kitchen unit is pretty small, but it's good that it's here. And also another area where you relax and where you... This position in the hostel is very good. So you're sitting in the corner, nobody's disturbing you, but you still feel the vibe. This light is pretty warm and I think it's good, especially at night. And everything is getting darker. I also have a TV screen and PlayStation 3. Why PlayStation 3? Why not PlayStation 5? Ah. No water in the dispenser. So sad. I really like these chairs. Like there are three of them. I swear it's just impossible to memorize. As if it's protection for some hackers. Games that I still like. A lot of Call of Duty, Need for Speed, Gran Turismo. So it's possible to smoke weed in here, but you have to order from the menu. So this is tobacco. Uh, it's free, but you can smoke it here, you have to smoke outside. Now it is definitely more chill here. But still no remote. Where's the remote? Okay, now the AC is working and it's getting really, really better here. You can see that the temperature is going down, it's 31 and it's gonna be colder, which is great. Look at yourself when you wake up in the morning. Lighting at night. The vibe at night is way better. The building itself looks pretty nice at night. They managed to decorate it. Night before going to sleep, I totally forgot to insert the card and uh, the ventilation didn't work because of that, but I forgot about it. So I woke up at night and I felt there was no oxygen, so I was like, I need some air. Hey guys, I just checked out from this hostel. I can say it was bad, so there was some minor problems with temperature. But I've been told that it's a common thing, that every day when they clean, they for some reason shut down the AC and then they turn it on and it 
it gets just colder. Um, what else? Yeah, I didn't socialize much here with people, however, I think this place could be really great if you like smoking weed and you can buy different types of weed just right here, um, not leaving the hostel, which is very convenient, although you might overpay sometimes. I'll see you guys soon with new hostel reviews and new trips. Subscribe and yeah, see you guys later.